Well, Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about the Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Uh, sure. Take my money. I don't want any trouble. Oh, there goes all my fun. Now I don't get to do this. Uh, 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 help! Please! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! Then who keeps up the law and maintains order? I'm the only law on this island! Whoa. Hey, you're loaded! This is my lucky night! Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre! Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse. Right? Yes. This is the biggest, and I think the biggest ever, most complicated piece of iMuse. Okay, here is... Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse. He looks buff. 
<clears throat> yeah. What's the problem with that Margo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Oh no you don't. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Oh no you don't. No one touches her but me. Oh no you don't. It's adjusted to my height. Nice craftsmanship. I made it myself. Hey, don't touch that. Hello. It's too small. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my um, sister once had. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. I'm not dressed for wrestling. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Excuse me, do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. The who? You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? Oh, them? Yeah, I know about them. Of course. Well, well. Guess you don't need me, then. Nice map. I like it, too. I can't reach it. Uh, excuse me. Yes? My name's Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. How's business? Terrible. No one needs any maps since no one can go anywhere thanks to Largo. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? 
Good luck. With the sailing embargo Lagos imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. Could you tell me about the men who buried Big Whoop? Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote, deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Wow, that's some story. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Is longitude the sideways one or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too! What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, oh, no. Be my guest. I could lose a finger doing that. Oh, isn't that cute? I could lose a finger doing that. I'm not holding it. I can't dig that, Daddy. And it's securely fastened. Busy guy. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. I'd have to have a room first. You're supposed to leave these things open. Hmm, only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Hold it right there! That's a private room. 
No going up there. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Hey! Hired help only! That's sick. That's sick. Largo's been here. I can't reach it. I don't want to touch it with my hands. It reads, Jojo, appearing nightly. Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. I can't reach it. Nice. No, we don't clean leather. It won't fit in my pocket. I'm not holding it. Hey, leave that alone. Do you think you could let me have this bucket? No. Please? No. Pretty please? No. Pretty, pretty please? No. Pretty please with sugar on top? No. Pretty please with sugar in a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar nuts and a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar nuts, a cherry, and chocolate sprinkles? No. I really need it. No. Well, I didn't want that old bucket anyway. Wake up! What is it? Remember me? I'm Guybrush. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush, the man who rid the world of LeChuck. Sure you are. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. 
that's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? I'm looking for that too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. How much longer is this story? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you're a pack of loonies? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. But when he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well... We're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh, hmm. Groundophobia? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like orcaphobia. Fear of killer whales? Say what you will, we're not coming down. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. That wouldn't be wise. Nice. That doesn't seem to work. I can't dig that, Daddy. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. He looks nice enough. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. I got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. 
I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. This door appears to be locked. Nice! I can't pick that up. He's back! Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh, no. Not this story again! Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named... Captain Dredd. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Not really, once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embargo. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure, Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you'll listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no jail in which to rot. That was beautiful. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left?
International House of Mojo. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Label. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. I'll just take a little. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. Guy brush three wood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh yeah, now I remember. I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated LeChuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. 